Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to 5 Minute Medical Channel. Today we will learn the basics of CT scan. CT scan is very common imaging investigation in medical science. So before starting, please subscribe this channel for more videos. Let's go. CT scan is a non-invasive medical test that helps physician to diagnose and treat medical conditions. It combines with special X-ray equipment with sophisticated computer to produce multiple images or pictures inside of the body. These cross-sectional images of the area of being studied can be examined by computer monitor and that pictures are printed or transferred to a CD. And CT scan is the best and fastest tool for examining of the chest, abdomen, pelvis and also the brain. It provides detailed cross-sectional views of uh, all types of tissue. Used to examine the patients with severe injuries, especially road traffic accident, CT scan is the best tool for diagnosis. And it is performed on the patient of acute symptoms such as abdominal pain and difficult breathing also. The history of CT scan it was first invented by Godfrey Neubold Hounsfield or GN Hounsfield. First, he was think that about this invention in 1967 and publicly announced in 1972. And CT scan claimed that it was the greatest legacy of the Beatles. The massive profit from their record sales enabled EMI to fund scientific research. And this is the initial case of CT scan machine by Jane Hounsfield. And this is the first original axial CT image. It's very coarse image, only 128 into 128 matrix pixel. This poor quality pixel, but it's the start of greatest invention. So what are the indications of CT scan? It's layman language in broken bone or fracture, blood clots or thrombosis or embolism in the brain or chest, abnormalities in the lung, especially in COVID-19 disease or other pneumonia, inflammation of the abdomen, appendicitis, gallbladder diseases, stone formation in kidney, ureter or urinary bladder or gallbladder also, and intestinal obstruction, twisted bowel or volvulus, and it's a very important investigation tool uh, for various cancer disease of staging of the cancers. These are the generations of the CT scan and the recent generation is the fifth generation. Here configuration is electron beam and scanning time is only 33 nanosecond. It's very interesting. Here uh, 1284 detectors are used and in the first generation only one to two detectors were used. So the components of CT scan is a scanner, a one gantry and data acquisition system and operating console. Here the high voltage generation where the X-ray was produced, then it passes through the X-ray tube, then pre-patient collimation, then the patient scanning, then the post-patient collimation and ultimately by the detectors and here is the X-ray source. This is the visual animation of CT scan. Here the X-ray tube, collimator and the patient. Here the detectors, here are multiple detectors. And these images are processed in the CPU and ultimately shown in this monitor. Helical or spiral CT, it was introduced in early 90 with mass development of calendar and Kajuhiri. And in older CT scanner, the X-ray source would move in circular fashion to acquire a single slice. But recent invention is multi-slice CT. Multi-slice CT scanner are similar in concept to helical, but here are multiple detectors are used. It began two rings uh, in mid 90s. Here now it's 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 40, 64, and up to 128. Uh, detector rings are used recently and the processing here a CT scan machine showing a mame of the Buddha statue is CT scanning what insights in the body so 
processing of the image here data generated by X-ray source and rotates around the object. X-ray sensors are positioned on the opposite side of the circle from the X-ray source and many data scans are progressively taken as the object is gradually passed through the gantry and they are combined together mathematical procedure known as tomographic construct reconstruction. In CT scan, some contrast materials also used in special conditions. This contrast material improves the detection and characterization of intracranial and intraabdominal lesions. It opacifies the blood vessels and detects the area of interest and abnormal blood brain barrier breakup can be detected by this contrast material also. Usual dose is 2 ml per kg up to 100 ml and iodinated contrast is at 350 mg per ml gives excellent vascular opacification. This contrast are nephrotoxic so renal function must be normal so it is the only prerequisite for using contrast materials. Contrast material may be ionic and may be non-ionic. So it's a term contrast induced nephropathy or CIN. Its risk increases if syrup creatinine is more than normal range and some risk factors also uh, dehydration, congestive cardiac failure, age is more than 70 years and concurrent administration of other nephrotoxic drugs. So it's very much risky for developing contrast induced nephropathy. So this is the Hounsfeld unit or density of the tissues and material. Uh, processing of this uh, procedure is called windowing. So where uh, mass lighter structure Hounsfeld unit is massless. Air Hounsfeld unit is minus 1000 and bone Hounsfeld unit is plus 1000 and water is zero. Blood Hounsfeld unit is 40 to 70, CSF is 15, calcification in the body is 140 to 200. Fat is minus 50 to minus 100, gray matter is 32 to 45, and white matter is 20 to 30. The more dense structure, the more Hounsfield unit. It is the basic rule. So, benefits of CT scan it is the painless, non invasive, and accurate procedure, and major advantage is ability to uh, image the bone, soft tissue, and blood vessel at the same time. Unlike conventional X-ray, CT scanning provides very detailed images of many types of tissue as well as lung, bones and blood vessel. CT examination is very fast and simple and so emergency cases we can use the CT scan for detecting the internal injuries and bleeding quickly. CT scan also shows as cost effective imaging tool for wide range of clinical problems and CT can be performed in a patient having an implanted device unlike MRI. MRI in this condition MRI is contraindicated if there is an implant in the body and CT provides a real-time imaging system so it's a good tool for guiding minimally invasive procedure such as needle biopsy or fine needle aspiration in the, from the body. So a diagnosis determined by CT scan may eliminate the need for exploratory surgery or surgical biopsy such as in uh, renal uh, cancer uh, a contrast enhanced CT scan is enough to diagnose the renal cancer. No radiation uh, remains in the patient's body after the CT scan examination it's very important. There are some uh, risk factor of CT scan most important is radiation so one radi radiation may cause cancer. Large population studies shows that a slight increase the cancer rate in large amount of radiation such as radiation therapy and it's important that CT scan is contraindicated in pregnant women and see, uh, after a CT examination in a breastfeed mother 24 to 48 hours breastfeeding is contraindicated if there is contrast material is used. Here are the references. Now we will learn some CT scan view. This is very important. First CT abdomen and this is the coronal view from uh, that is called anterior posterior view showing the liver and other abdominal structures and lastly showing the kidney and the vertebral column. This is very important for CT examination of the abdomen. 
Now this is the city abdomen axial or transverse view from upwards to downwards first showing the liver, kidney, spleen and it's going downwards now showing the intestines and now showing the pelvic viscera. This is the urinary bladder. This is the city chest coronal view that means anterior posterior view showing the both lung fields. This is the city chest axial or transverse view showing the both lung fields and the heart. This is the CT angiogram of the chest showing the vasculature of the lungs. It's normal patient. This is the CT brain coronal view, anterior to posterior view, showing the outer bones and inner brain matters, outer gray matters and inner white matters. This is the CT brain axial or transverse view. Here showing the same structures. Important is here showing the ventricles inside the brain. It's the normal. Thank you so much.